We've all been there. We've had a quick puncture change at the side of the road and it's turned dirty. Or we've just thrown our bike in the back of our car boot and the chain's just brushed our shorts. We might have even just cleaned our bike in a hurry without even thinking about where the chain is positioned on our shorts. Then you look down and oh no, it's the cyclist tattoo. Chain oil everywhere. And I tell you, it happens to the best of us. If you look at this example here, pitiful, pitiful, I tell you. It happened to me last week and I still haven't got around to cleaning it, but I'm gonna get rid of it today and I'm gonna give you some of my top tips on how to get that chain oil out of your clothes. Don't worry, folks, I've come prepared. Let's tackle this chain all together. Let's get going. Okay, and before we begin, just one big, big tip. If you're a fan of ironing your clothes, don't. <laughs> if you have a chain oil stain in your clothes and you iron it, if you're just trying to do a quick fix and you, you say, oh, I'll do, deal with that in a few weeks, it's just gonna serve to keep the stain in your clothes for longer. The heat will really kind of seal that stain into the clothes and make it a real stubborn one to get out of any of your cycling clothes. So refrain from ironing if you have any stains. And to be honest, I never iron my cycling clothes anyway. They don't need it, they don't crinkle. So yeah, just a quick tip there. So first up, we have two items you will hopefully already have in your house. Lemon juice and baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. So these can work really effectively to get chain oil stains out of your clothes. And what you want to do is mix one part lemon juice with one part baking soda in a mixing bowl. Get an old toothbrush, give it a good old swirl with that toothbrush. Get the mixture and then apply it to the stain, give it a bit of a scrub, get it damp, scrub, leave it overnight, let the mixture soak into the stain, and then in the morning, put the clothing item back into the washing machine, put it on your usual cycle, and hopefully, that stain will be removed. These two are household items anyway, so if you have them in your house, they can be a great starting point to get going on removing that stain. So the next item that you might find already in your house is dishwasher liquid. So you want to apply this to the stain with an old toothbrush again, give it a good scrub, really get in there. And once you've given it a scrub, you want to rinse it with cold water. But, quick tip, you want to rinse it with cold water by putting it under the tap, putting the stain away from the flow of water. So I've got my stain here on the front of my shorts, so you want the water to flow from behind, so you're rinsing the stain off through the shorts or the clothing item. Once you've done this, put it in your usual washing machine cycle, and hopefully we've got rid of that stain. Okay, now this one was a firm favourite of my mother-in-law. She says she swears by this, so it's made it to the list. It's called Dr. Beckman's Stain Devil Remover. It's quite a universal brand, which you should be able to find in most stores. So the way to use this is to get, firstly get a damp towel or cloth, put it underneath the clothing garment you're about to try and remove the stain from. Get your clothing garment, and you want to damp this cloth, remember, damp cloth clothing garment goes on top then you want to get a small bit of the solution and just wet the stain with it and then leave for 15 minutes. Once that's been left for 15 minutes you want to get a bit more stain remover on another damp towel and then just give it a good dab. Good dab and a bit of a wipe get that stain off then put it in the washing machine as usual and fingers crossed, your stain should be gone. This is a really effective method, so I think it will be gone after this one. So, hope it works for you too, and good luck with it. Dr. Beckman's Stain Devil Remover. Right, so a lot of these items, I'm trying to include ones that you can find in your house already. You don't have to do a trip to the shops, or you won't have to spend a few pennies to get them. So, another one of those items is white vinegar. Now this is a simple one to use, you just simply apply it to the stain and leave to soak for a few hours. Put it anywhere around the house. I would preferably leave it in a kind of place you're not going to touch for a while. And once it's been left for a few hours, 
You can just put it in the washing machine, turn on the cycle as usual, 30 or 40 degrees with some washing detergent, and fingers crossed, the stain is gone. Okay, so one item you might not have thought of is heavy duty hand cleaner. Now there's a variety of brands that do make these. You can get them in car mechanic garages or for instance, I got this from Muckoff. It's their Muckoff's Nano Grit hand cleaner. And this is for real heavy duty cleaning of your hands after you've been working on your bike or a car and you have real heavy stained hands from dealing with chain oil and the like. But you can use this to get it out of your clothes as well. You just get a bit in your hands, then you want to rub it on the stain. It's real, it's real tough stuff, this. Just want to rub it on the stain, give it a good old rub before you put it in the wash. Good old scrub under the tap as well. Just get in there, get that stain out, and then put it in the washing machine cycle as usual, and it should work a treat. So if you have any of that lying around in your house from previous mechanic works or the like, give it a go. So if you are tight for time and you can't set aside time for scrubbing those stains out of clothes, well, firstly, make a bit of time because stains are important to get rid of. But if you don't have the time, I'm just joking, if you don't have the time, get your generic stain remover from any supermarket that's local to you. Lidl in Europe do quite a good one. It's called Formal Oxy Action. And this is a simple one to use. You just chuck one scoop into your washing cycle and put your clothes in as usual. And you can also leave your clothes to soak in a solution which is mixed with this. I think it's about 60 grams or 50 grams, 30 grams, sorry, 30 grams in one litre of water. And you leave to soak for six hours with your stained garment and then you put it in the washing machine cycle. So that's quite a handy one if you're stuck for time and you just want a quick fix, put that, put that in your cupboard and whack it into your washing machine cycle as needed. Okay, another item you might not have thought of is your usual bike degreaser. I recommend using an environmentally friendly bike degreaser. And obviously this is for cleaning your bike and degreasing your chain and the like, but you could also use a little bit on your clothes. If there's a really stubborn stain, try a bit of your bike degreaser, rub it into the stain, wash out under the sink, and then put in the washing machine cycle as usual. And it should go a long way to getting that stubborn stain out of your clothes. Okay, and this final piece of advice is for any of you who have wool garments or other delicate clothing items which you may have stained. So a good piece of advice is to again, go for your baking soda. So you wanna get a pinch of baking soda and cover the stain with the baking soda and leave overnight. Now, the baking soda should absorb the grease and leave the fibers undamaged, thus cleaning the garment. Then afterwards, you wanna wash in your washing cycle on the delicate function, or if it's recommended to hand wash, hand wash under the recommended water temperature. So that should work for you if you have a delicate clothing item, it should get rid of that stain. Fingers crossed for you. Right, I've decided to use one of my techniques to try and get my my chain oil stain out of my shorts and I've opted for the lemon juice and the baking soda option. Just want to try and show you that a cheap and easy option is out there. You might already have it in your house and it will get rid of that stain. So I'm going for the one part lemon juice, one part baking soda. So I've got my mixing bowl here, tablespoon of lemon juice into your bowl. Got a dab of baking soda in there already so you can hear it reacting there. Then you want to get your baking soda and you want to go one part baking soda as well so nice tablespoon of baking soda and mix that in with the lemon juice and you really hear it react so oh, it's a lovely smell as well I'm not sure if you can see it in there I've got a good bit in there now mix that all in oh look at it lovely Lovely. I've actually got too much baking soda in there because I accidentally put a bit in before we started this video. So a bit, a bit more lemon juice in. You just want to get it, you want to get it nice and damp, get a good liquid. Then you want to get your tea towel, your stained clothing garment, and your toothbrush, your old toothbrush. Get in there with a the toothbrush, get the mixture on it. Then you want to get in on the stain and give it a good old scrub. Okay, nice scrub with that toothbrush. 
Just use your towel to absorb any of the, the dampness and really get in there. And if you wanna get your spoon and get more of the mixture, do it. Get into that mixing bowl, get your spoon, as much on that stain as you can, really mix it in there, get it to react with the chain oil. Get in there again with the toothbrush, another scrub, nice and thick. Okay, and you wanna leave that for a few hours or overnight, and then you're gonna put it in your washing machine. Okay, so hopefully that's got it out. We'll see how we go. And there you go, it's worked. Cleaned and dried and the stain is gone. So, hope you have just as much luck as I did. Right, so I hope those tips have really helped you get the chain oil out of your clothes. Have I missed anything though? Have you got any tricks of the trade that I might not know about? Please let me know in the comments section below. And everyone else out there, I really hope these tips have helped you clean those clothes and get you back to looking fresh and brand new. And none of your mates are laughing at that cycling tattoo on your shorts like Hank and Manon did to me in Mallorca. Good luck everyone, thanks for watching.